election about a month away now, but not everyone will be able to cast a ballot. UrbanInstitute.org says six million Americans are not allowed to vote because of a felony conviction. Yeah, WCBI's Victoria Bailey joins us in the studio with more on who can and who cannot vote in Mississippi. Victoria? That's right, Joey and Andrea. Many people believe that if they've been convicted of a felony or even been to jail, they forfeit their right to vote. But according to Mississippi state law, that's not necessarily the case. There are 21 crimes that if you're convicted in the state of Mississippi for, you cannot vote. If it is any crime other than these 21, you still can vote. If it is a federal crime, you can still vote. If it is one of these crimes uh, committed in another state, you can still vote. Some of the crimes that can keep you from voting include murder, rape, arson, perjury, embezzlement, and bigamy, and that's just a partial list. Misdemeanor crimes don't take away your voting rights, and believe it or not, in certain cases, being behind bars doesn't mean you forfeit your voting rights either. All you've got to do is request a, a, an absentee ballot from the circuit clerk of the county in which you're in, and they'll send it to you. You fill it out, send it in, and you voted. Sharon Jones is the founder of Parole to Pride. She says her organization helps felons get back to being productive members of society. And when they first come to our program, we try to find out if they have identification, a social security card, um, voters card. And if they don't, we start working towards getting them that. And then we also ask them about their credit history. You know, we try to pull a credit report so they can look at their credit history and try to rectify some of those problems that they may have had before entering into the program. State Representative Kabir Kareem says community support and knowing your rights can quickly get you back on the right track after a brush with the law. Well, you know, we just can't ostracize them in a the community. Uh, those folks have vote, our votes as well. And we need to educate our community on that all is not lost. You're not castracized or have the blue bonnet plague because you made a mistake in society. Now, if you have been convicted of one of the 21 crimes that take away your voting rights, the state, law state lawmakers have to pass a bill specifically for you to reinstate your right to vote. It has to pass the House and the Senate and be signed by the governor. Joey, Andrea, 